Hello people and welcome back to News Review. Uh, feels good to be <laughs> recording these again. Um, I actually recorded the last one just a bit ago, so if anyone has had the chance to comment, I haven't seen it because it's literally been too little time. First off, we'll start off with the All Max, which will, well, which has already been out for a little bit, but you'll have until the uh, 18th of July to choose your All Max. And you know, the All Max, I think the options are the same as last time. But there's actually a really, really good uh, tool for this. So this screen. If I switch it correctly, yes. This screen is uh, the All Max chooser made by some uh, like just like a guy that is really you know dedicated <laughs> to the All Max. He he made this tool. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if I remember to. And the way you use this is that you gotta go to the checkout first and then uh, set your profile to public and then update the profile and then you can uh, enter your new ID. So I'll just do that real quick. Right here, uh, you enter your UID, you enter your verification code. I blurred it because it's the verification code. You go in, everything's in Chinese, which is, well, which is why I'm showing you. It says, uh, tick the, you have to tick this basically, tick this box, there's only one box here for you to tick. And then, click that button, which is that. And then, it just goes, and then, that's how, I think you also, you can also click these, I think, but click this, and then your profile will be public here, I think is what it means. Yep, okay, so now I can enter my UID in here, and then it'll update my own cards. So this is really useful. If you want to in, you know, condense from get this, which is even more useful. Uh, wow. Okay, the, this is actually incredible. I, I didn't realize that you can mouse over the cards to get the, the evolution forms as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, especially if you have a, a lot of cards missing. This tool will be pretty good. Um, for me, I, I mean, I'll probably cho choose a soul phone for the one that's about to expire for the next one. Like, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Beasts and Dragons are getting buffed, but then, like, if you look here, right? Beasts and Dragons. This may be a potential choice. I, I think I, this is the only Dragon I don't want. Out of the all max pool. Uh, beasts like this maybe. But yeah, I'll you know I'll have to see. It's not it's also not a good idea to uh, impulse choose in this one. Because stuff might get uh, stuff might get evolutions and all that. You know, one of the cards that I just never got was Arthur. They're buffing they're PRing the round table, you know, sometime in the future, so that may be good as well. Uh, so yeah, this tool very useful for choosing your all max. Next up, all right, let's move on to the news. There will be a new series called The Lost Saga, which will have a dark dragon jackpot as seen by this picture. But before that, the ultimate haze that's coming up contains a kind of trash card, uh, Jerry Light Rocker, uh, basically a weakened version of Snow Miku that can only work when you have Mahan in the team. Not very good unless you don't have Snow Miku, in which case you could on him for your mock and team use. Next up, new stages for uh, Board of the Realm, Era of Magic, two stages, two cards for the alternative timeline versions of Cersei and uh, Media, I believe. 
Uh, there will also be a dragon one for humans, a third one. So that's good. Uh, media uh, has. Well, the, the effect will halve your attack, halve the enemy's attack, and halve damage received, rather, and uh, increase your rate of heart rate stones. I'm not sure how useful this will be. Uh, this is technically like one slot for a stall. It's okay, I guess, but I'm just not sure how you use this effectively. So, I mean, people might get to use it. You know, like people might find a use for it, and that would be good. So he can half off the body here. Next up is Cersei, uh, Earth Human, of course. Attack and recovery can only be triggered when three or more heart rates are installed. This also may be a stalling mechanism, as uh, the normal Cersei does. And recovery bonus plus 120 for each combo made. This is ridiculous. Like, uh, I don't think yeah, there, there's just not been a card with this kind of power, right? Like with uh, well, with the aforementioned Snowmaker, you can get you know pretty good recovery out of Machinus, who don't have good recovery just by increasing your combo multiplier. For this, this can get really, really insane when you factor in like extra combos by way of active skills, by way of team skills, stuff like that, or even if you dissolve, like, let's say you dissolve 8 combos, that's, like, 900, wait, yeah, that's nine over 900% of your recovery, so your recovery times 9, actually, no, times 10, because you have your base of 100%, yeah, it's pretty broken, and yeah, uh, if you have an overheal field, this will probably take care of it. Provided, of course, you have the recovery to do it. Because this doesn't you know, offer any recovery on its own, it only boosts your existing recovery. Next up is the five small prizes for the uh, new series. First up is Quine. Quine. Uh, Water Dragon, C6, uh, runestones of itself, and Leader have the effect of other runestones. And for extra dragons, you get extra rounds. Pretty good, a little above average of the uh, average small prize. Basically, it makes Aegis run a rainbow team, while it does rely a little bit still on uh, Water runestones. Next, Nyao Shan. Uh, Dark Dragon C5, tap and turn and row into the Enchanted Dark Dragon, 4 mana combo time plus 3, this is the important one. This is also the important, the important one. If there's a dragon with 4,000 or more attack, I don't actually think dragon attack goes that high. So maybe this is a hint to the new dragon jackpot. Maybe they do go that high, and I'm just, you know completely, you know, losing it. But I don't think they go that high. So, yeah. This combo count is helpful, of course. 3 is not a big number, but it will sometimes get you, you know, overly top, right? Uh, like, theoretically just like a... I'm not even sure if there's a dragon that can t uh, convert like a board into a 10 combo board, but like you get a 13 combo shield, which does come up like every now and then. Uh, 10 plus 3, get you over that, right? So, yeah, useful. Uh, one more. Earth Beast, CB6. Have them turn a column into an enchanted beast. Beast, sorry. Go around, electrify the enemies. Pretty good. I don't think there's another beast that can do that. And minus CB, but there are primarily beasts. Good. You know, short CBs are, you know, just basically what the meta now is about. Next card, uh, Chima. Uh, Fire Beast, C7. She can explode below her frozen themselves. She can also ignore Sticky. She can also ignore Tornado. That's 
a lot of uh, stuffing or any small size, which is why she got bumped a little bit above uh, the other small size. She also has beasts in human forms, which is just, you know, a gimmick about, like, offering extra attack and recovery. 1.5 is, like, it's not bad, but it's not, like, very noticeable. Because, apart from that, you're not really going to be boosting the game good, right? Uh, in her human form, she does uh, the Doctor CD, so that would be good. Uh, she turns into her human form when you receive damage. So, I guess you, like, the way that this goes is that you want to get hit, and then the Doctor CD really quickly. And then you can activate your uh, skill. Uh, for sure also has this uh, human and beast sort of deal. His active skill is CD8. Uh, if the leader... Oh yeah, she also has this limitation of uh, dragons or beast as a leader. Which makes it slightly worse. Which is why, you know, it's not that good. But still, it's okay. Uh, if the leader is a dragon or beast explode below him and electro monsters that's okay for two rounds of light monsters and beasts ignore quintet elemental that is really good because this for two rounds effect means you can carry it into the next round if you have like uh the locked at like the active skill lock on you when you go into the next round this effect will still be there so that's really good and the fact that it extends to light monsters as well, so you can, if you have like light dragons or something like that, you know, and they can also benefit from the uh, ignoring Quinta Elemental. And last, and actually least again, is the water evolution of Chris, which looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, water Elf C7 would be base effect, the second effect, the third effect which sucks this time, and the fourth effect which is the same as its base form. So what this water evolution is, it, is it adds 2 and 3 and 5 to its base form. So I guess like eventually you want to collect them all, right? This is not a bad effect, but this effect is I'm saying it's already on the base, so that's why it's like not even on the uh, <laughs> on the tier list almost. But yeah. And finally, the celebration events. A couple of things that are important. One is the two LR past L LR past LR past stages, which are the ones from the Solomon. Uh, era, I guess. Uh, they gave us the card from the 72 Demonic Spirits. And now they're giving us the two ultimate cards, which suck. Just look at their effects. It's not good, alright. But it is two diamonds, so I'll take that. I slowly. Well, I mean, I haven't grinded the LR past, I've been grinding carrots, and hopefully, so have you for this past week. Uh, but yeah, there's two diamonds in the future to be casting. And the other important thing is that Void of the Realm will get a half like stamina event, so that's really good. If you haven't like, finished the Void of the Realm, now's the time to do it. Alright, uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. I, you know, like it when people leave comments, of course, because it shows that, you know, people actually watch this and like it. If you like it so much that you want to see more of it, subscribe. I'm trying to get to, uh, well, right now I'm trying to get to 30 subscribers, which is one more subscriber, just one of you needs to subscribe and I will start making the uh, guide to how to get a lot of diamonds basically. Alright that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.
See ya.